Hey guys, Captain Bill here. We're cruising through the Bahamas and I wanted to do a real quick product review on the Raw Elements Sunscreen Stick. So this is an all natural, um, mostly organic sunscreen. Um, and this is a stick. It's a much thicker, a longer lasting kind of product than their sunscreen. Now I just did a product, product review of their sunscreen and you can click on the link below or right here if you want to see that and that's why my face is a little white already but this stick I use mostly for my lips and my nose and then the biggest thing that I like about this are the ingredients on the back so that's one of the first things I look at in almost any product I'm, I'm looking at especially if I'm consuming it or putting it on my body so their active ingredient is zinc oxide uh, almost 23% and then the rest of the ingredients are all plant-based, all natural, and they have their scientific names, but right next to it in parentheses they have their common names, so you can hogfish. They also have their common names right next to it, so you can read it and easily understand what is in this sunscreen. So I'm just going to read you the ingredients real quick in order from uh, most to least. So the first one's organic green tea. Organic black tea, organic hemp seed oil, organic beeswax, organic coffee bean, natural candelilla wax, organic sunflower oil, natural mango butter, natural rosemary, organic cocoa butter, and the last one is something I don't know what it is, tocopherol, T-O-C-O-P-H-E-R-O-L. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but the last ingredient, so the least amount of that is in here compared to the, all the other ones. The only difference um, from the stick in ingredients to the other sunscreens I believe is yeah there's one extra ingredient in the stick and that's the uh, natural candelilla wax so I'm sure that's what makes this stick a little bit thicker and uh, last longer on your skin than, than the other sunscreen. Um, but the stick, when you apply it, sometimes if it's been cold, like maybe less than 70 degrees or less than 60 degrees kind of out of the sun, it's a little cooler in an air-conditioned house, uh, you have to kind of start it on your nose, get it warmed up just a little bit, it'll go on a little easier. Otherwise, it kind of, it's pretty hard. You kind of got to work it to put it on. But it's been outside, we're in 85 degree weather, 90 degree weather, and it's nice and soft. Also, if it gets too warm, then it goes on really easy, so you gotta be careful you don't um, wipe like a huge chunk of the stick off on your face uh, if it's out in the sun or anything like that. So I always put this on my nose and my cheeks because that's the part that catches the sun the most on my face. Probably mostly like that, and then on my lips also. I really rub it into my lips. They get, mur they get burnt really bad. They just rub it in a little if you want, but I leave it pretty white um, so I know I'm covered. They also make the same stick in a tinted formula, so if you don't like the white, it kind of is a, a natural skin tint, so it blends in a little bit better. Um, I like the white so I know where it is, where I need to reapply, when I need to reapply, because I'm out in the sun all day long. Um, in the summer, I'm lifeguarding every day and in the winter I'm teaching kiteboard lessons on the water all day long and in between I'm usually traveling on a boat or uh, somewhere in the sun. It says water resistant to 80 minutes. Um, for this I say that's about right. If you're in the water for 80 minutes surfing or swimming whatever, sweating a lot working out then I'd recommend to reapply definitely after 80 minutes. Um, I do. I try and reapply like three or four times a day. Um, on my lips and a little bit on my nose. And some of the uh, labels they have on here, the non-GMO project verification, they're on there. That's a popular label now. Um, Leaping Bunny certified, UVA, UVB, non-nano. It's also reef safe with all its uh, natural and organic ingredients, so um, being reef safe is an important concern in the sunscreen industry, a lot of the conventional sunscreens have ingredients that are hurting our coral reefs, so uh, this is a reef safe product. Um, I recommend this product, I really like it, the Raw Elements Eco Stick 30.